So I'm happy to be here again with the other practitioners um, who are together. We're running a Chinese dietary therapy course at uh, uh, College of Integrated Chinese Medicine um, this year, 2023 into 24. Um, and we're just going to have a little bit more of a relaxed conversation about um, our philosophies and our ideas about Chinese uh, dietary therapy and how we came to it. Um, but just check the links um, next to the, this video. You'll see links to the full syllabus for the course. Um, there are early bird discounts which are expiring soon. So if you want to check and get the best price, you can you can book soon. Um, there's also a, a short introductory video um, which uh, I've put together about my component of the course. So you're free to watch that um, as well. There's there's a link there. But um, just to kick off this discussion. Um, um, we were talking beforehand about our own personal journeys. And for me, I, I come to Chinese dietary therapy um, as someone who's tried to make this work for my own health because I, I came to Chinese medicine with my own health issues and, and trying to, and they're quite complex and quite stubborn. And so I spent a lot of time with um, trying to work with these principles um, when I didn't have a lot of energy or motivation. And uh, I, I sometimes joke that I, I a lot of people come to Chinese dietary therapy as a foodie. I, I came as someone who is largely disinterested and just wanted to minimize the amount of time and effort it took to actually make things that would help me and sustain me. Um, and I think that a lot of patients are in that situation. And I think that um, that's quite an interesting lens to put on things. I think it's also important to enjoy your cooking and, and, and create great flavors in the food to to make things easy uh to uh, and to in, encourage us to um you know to enjoy what we do um but uh, i just thought um um you know maybe we could all say a little bit about our own personal journeys um when it comes to trying to start therapy rebecca you were saying that you had a similar kind of um yeah yeah absolutely alex it's so it's it's so interesting to hear your journey and you know similarly to me i i have come you know to this you know whole whole way of life and all the learnings that I've that I've had along the way through my own health um also very complex and stubborn and it's taken a very long time to kind of piece all the bits together to find my way with it and I I started out by studying from a more sort of western nutrition science perspective at university but then I went very much into the food energetics I was studying macrobiotics and totally fell in love with the sort of philosophy of microbiotics more than anything else um and that led me into the food energetic side of things and i and it, again just fell in love with that way of of sort of you know understanding food it resonated so deeply it was so familiar you know i had it was like i had had many lives of of you know understanding this already um but i i sort of yeah i played around with working with things from a macrobiotic perspective for quite some years and it, it never it never managed to get in under the sort of chronicness of what i was experiencing and it wasn't really until later i then came across the work of medical medium i don't know if any of you have come across medical medium um who's really bringing you know, I mean, I, I feel like this work is channeled from a higher place and that's how it's described. And it's really helping us to understand in the modern world what we're experiencing, why we're experiencing it and how we can really use food as a tool to heal that. But it but it what's beautiful about this approach is that it doesn't negate any other approach. There is no it, it, there's no sort of dogma attached to it. it has to be this way or it has to be that way. But it's very much helping us to understand the principles around you know what's going on and how we're going to heal it using food um yeah so i i hope i hope that makes sense and and mm -hmm. you know western nutrition can be very it can be very dry you know sometimes when when I, when I was studying western nutrition a bit later when i went back to to qualify as a nutritionist and naturopath i thought oh my gosh you know having come from a background of you know more food energetics or having gone off into that I thought oh my gosh get me in and get me out I just want to get qualified you know but but there but there's a way to bring it to life and I think that that's what I like to bring into all of my teaching is how do we really bring food and and all of its teachings to life in a, in a more practical and real way as Davrick was saying you know it's like really being creative with it and and um yeah so that's me. 
it, it's i mean i think one thing that we all share is um it's from speaking to you to everybody it, it is just a real desire to make it real make it practical like you know focus on and and also i get the feeling that we're none of us are big fans of dogma either i think that you kind of have to let things go don't you people are so different i'm always surprised that the new thing i hear a patient comes in and they're allergic to and it's like how are you allergic to that like you know it's so it, it's the, the sheer variety on offer you have to uh you know i remember one of my chinese medicine teachers uh anytime people asked him how do you treat this he would draw up on the board a, a yin yang symbol and then put always doesn't equal this yeah. <laughs> so you know it's, it's yeah yeah that's that's <laughs> so true it's so true yeah i'm very with you both on the sort of non-dogmatic approach to things really i'm i'm, I'm put off <laughs> put off by that you know whenever I see uh, the one size fits all kind of diet you know all the latest fad I go oh god I, I sort of despair it's so missing the point and you know my but my way in was different it was um I was farming and gardening really as a young man I kind of struggled with university dropped out various times lived in community you know went went a bit radical and 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 um just got just went to earth actually as a human being and started to grow. I'd never grown before. I had no background. Um, and I loved it. And I developed this kind of much more visceral relationship with food. It's like, oh, this is really exciting. And then I'd, I met Chinese medicine, but it was, it was, well, I suppose it was Japanese medicine because I met it through shiatsu. That was my, my sort of way in formally, I suppose. I trained in shiatsu and became a practitioner, blah, blah, blah. And, and then the qigong also came in. Um, so, and, and then I ended up teaching the shiatsu and the students were somehow or other the conversations kept coming around to food. It's like, oh, okay, well, maybe we'll organize something around food. So we started doing shared lunches and, and, and that was exciting. And then over the lunches, we sort of talked about the food and, and they kind of badgered me really to well, get some information together. So it made me study more. And, you know, I, I delved wherever I could. There wasn't much around. There's never been, I mean, until now, really, there's not been, this is what's exciting here. Mm -hmm. There hasn't really been a proper nutrition training from the Chinese medicine angle before. And, and there have been lots of books, but, you know, again, until recently, when I first started, these books were, um, I think I, I said earlier, but the, these books were, were great, but they weren't applicable because the kind of culture from which they came was, is not the culture I was living in. So this, I, I think this sort of pragmatic, um, and creative flavor I'm getting from the four of us, I think is going to be a really great aspect to this course. I'm excited. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. And, and I think we all bring a slightly different flavor in terms of, you know, Tafrik's growing and Alex's very Chinese filter on the, the way the culture affects this and, Re and Rebecca's training as a naturopath. I think we all bring a very different flavor. In fact, this is really just the course that I've always wanted to do. Um, I'd, I'd rather be sat at the back watching it all but but <laughs> um, yeah and um, my journey in I guess um was um it being a, a teenager and in quite a bit of a mess and um discovering Tai Chi and Qigong and my Tai Chi teacher was um was a shiatsu practitioner so I did some training with him and went on and at that time I was working in horticulture I was uh, working in an arboretum wow. Um, so I kind of, uh, you know, I, I, I guess cooking was part of the healing at, at that time. And, um, uh, yeah, and it's, it's kind of progressed. And, and I think, again, I think this course brings in all the different aspects of Chinese medicine that I love. So some Qigong, um, some connecting to nature, um, connecting with food and eating and, and, sharing of food as as well as the treatment and i think mm. when chinese medicine is just a treatment that we do to people it's it's kind of the you know it's the um the thinnest wedge of what chinese medicine should should be for me so mm. uh, yeah so yeah i'm really excited about this i mean that is a, a great thing and it's it's something that um you know this course uh it, it of course it's about food um, but food achieves, you know, helps us achieve a state, doesn't it? It helps us achieve a, a way of feeling and and being, um, you know, not just 
uh, avoiding, you know, uh, decreasing our cancer risk in 50 years. That's very important. But like, well, how do you, how how does it change how we feel right now? And that's why it's great that you know it, it isn't limited to food. It is mostly about food. But you know, as Danny says, it's qigong. It's it's understanding how to connect to what we're doing and how to how to feel, how to be. Which is, and um, you know, my part will talk about the seasons and and how we experience the year. So I think um you know that's that's something that we all feel quite passionate about too um so uh as i said uh just look at the the links um by the video um there's a link to the full syllabus of the course there's a link to a free video uh um which is an introduction to my component um and uh you know if you've got any questions just uh, drop us a line we're always happy to answer um and we'll hope to see you on the course